important books and projects I've ever been involved in, I really had to go deep into my soul to work with the richness and the depth of the healings that were reported to me in my research for the Mary book. And it's been an honor to do this. It's definitely changed my life, and I hope it does for those who read the book. One of the most life-changing experiences that I've had in my life has been going to Lourdes, which of course is very associated with Mother Mary. It's in the south of France, in the Pyrenees Mountain, and it came about because Saint Bernadette, as a little girl, a little 14-year-old girl, was guided to go to this area that really was a dump. I mean, she was taking the family's garbage out. And she started to see this beautiful lady who started to talk to her. And the beautiful lady signaled for Bernadette to dig in the dirt. People thought she was crazy to do this. And actually, Bernadette and her family were threatened with arrest, and she was threatened to be put into a, a mental institution for for doing this and digging every day. But the little girl had complete faith in these visions she was having and this message, and she kept digging. And then one day, water came up. And then the water grew and grew, and people started to be healed from that water. And now, today, thousands of people a day go to Lourdes in France, and they go on gurneys very often on their deathbed. And there's been reported miracles that have happened there of people being absolutely healed. When I went there, it was like going through a shower of angels. And I not only felt the presence of Mary so strongly and heard her voice so sweetly, but I could feel all the angels washing away anything from me that had been accumulated. What I found is that there's Mary sanctuaries all around the planet, very often associated with water. And after that experience, before I drink water now, I invite Mother Mary to go into the water and to bless it and to make it holy water. And I know for certain that she'll do that to anyone who calls on her, on her to bless their water. And it becomes the most healing elixir in the world. I feel fantastic ever since I learned that from Lourdes. I found that Mother Mary's nurturing qualities helps us all to heal any mother wounds we might have in us where we didn't feel like we got enough love from our own mother or maybe we've had um, guilt about our, our own parenting and taking care of our own children and somehow Mother Mary's beautiful energy gets in there and helps us to know no it's okay and go from that place of compassion so that God's love can really be felt on a deep level. I have been so deeply touched in bringing this book together because it's got true stories of people who have life and death healings and saved from, from certain death and, and had emotional healings and have seen visions that were unexplainable. People are telling me how they smell roses whenever they call on Mary and she's around. And there's no physical roses anywhere to be found. And they see her beautiful signature, cornflower blue light. What I love about Mother Mary is that she's accessible to us all. Where sometimes people feel this reverence for God and, and, and can feel like God's far away and untouchable. Mother Mary is close to us and is instantly connectable when you call upon her.